Hello, this is Jules from VR Tracker. Today I want to talk to you a bit about uh, some things that we've been working on lately, which is the body tracking. You might have seen uh, recently some posts about that on Facebook and might have seen the YouTube video showing me uh, using tags on my hands, on my foot, to show you that we can track different parts of the body using multiple tags. The problem with that is that we're gonna have the tags, uh, the, we currently can track up to eight tags, eight to 10 tags, and well, even though we're going to be able to track more and more tags, we don't want to have all of them sending data through Wi-Fi separately. So what we've been working on is actually have one tag and multiple orientation sensors, orientation and acceleration sensors that can be connected to the same tag. And this is what I've done here and I'm going to just show you what we can get and what are the current results. Okay, so just to explain you what that mess is, well, here is one of the tag version 2 prototypes. It is currently connected to my laptop here. And, well, I could just unplug it. So what the tags does, it, does, it, it sends all the information to the gateway, the orientation information and the acceleration information. Now, here you can see that there are some wires connected to another board. Currently, those are just raw wires, but it will be a jack cable in the version 2 of the tag. So it's connected. Those are all prototypes board, by the way. Uh, so it's connected to a board that will separate that signal between different other signals for other sensors. And what I have is four, those are inertial motion units. So it means that they can send the orientation. They have, um, they have um, a compass, an accelerometer and, and a gyroscope inside. And they can send the orientation, but also the acceleration. So currently what I have is that I have four of those units that are connected to the red cables. I have an extra one that is there and another one here. So I currently have uh, six inertial motion unit sensors that can send me orientation data. So now let's reset the tag. So I haven't yet uh, set up the gateway and Unity to be able to use those data, but they are currently sent out. Uh, still, I have connected um, my laptop to the tag to be able to show you those data. It is not very practical to read them like that, but you can see that they are uh, currently six IMU connected, and this is their orientation data. Is this just to show you that it will change? So, for example, I pick up one IMU, and I see that the data of the IMU number three is changing, uh, and this is like the around the, the, the first value and those are the, the, the third and second value are uh, this one and this one. Now you might wonder what the results look like. Uh, what is the precision? What is the frame rate? First the frame rate, the problem is that if we get too many IMUs together, uh, we're gonna max out the communication frame rate. So currently the test that I've run is with four IMU. I have a 41 frame per second uh, 5 IMU, I get a 28 frame per second, and 6 IMU, I get a 21 frame per second. So as you can see, uh, per each IMU, I'm going to lose uh, about 10 frame per second. So the limitation is around 4 or 5 currently. And I don't think that we are going to be able to improve that uh, in the version 2 of the tags. So if you want to have like more than 5 IMUs, uh, you would need to have, uh, for example, 2 tags. Uh, still, it's better than I have five tags uh, separately. Second thing, uh, the precision. The nice thing is that those IMU, they have uh, a compass to correct the orientation drift, the magnetic drift. So the thing is that they are all going to send the same orientation uh, around uh, this axis. And the precision is quite good, actually. You have maybe... Uh, a few degrees when they are moving. The precision is way better, actually, that, that's, that's weird, but that's what I've discovered. The precision is way better when the IMU is moving regularly. If you, if you keep it on a table flat and just move it a little from time to time, the, the quality gets, uh, gets worse. But if you move, if you have it on your body and if you move, you're gonna have a precision of one to three degrees, which is really nice and which is, I think, more than necessary for most of the arm and the legs tracking. So that's all for today's. I hope you like this update. Uh, we will have 
more information coming soon and uh, maybe even a list to register if you want to get those boards quickly. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.